Lego are definitely targeting the adult collector market with these three Star Wars vignette sets. I was very fortunate enough for Lego to send me the three to be reviewed and look at and share with you guys today. So let's take a look at the Trash Compactor, the Training on Dagobah and the Death Star Trench Run. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Dan and if you like this video and want to see more like it, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to catch me live, I do stream over on Twitch. So head over to twitch.tv forward slash between the bricks. So Lego sent over the Death Star Trash Compactor, the Death Star Trench Run and of course the Dagobah Jedi Training. Now the first thing we're going to take a look at is the piece count for each of these sets. Trash Compactor with 802, the Trench Run with 655 pieces, and then we have the Dagobah Jedi Training with 1,000 pieces. Now, this begs to question why it was priced the way it was priced. With the Trash Compactor priced at $159.99 New Zealand dollars, compared to the Death Star Trench Run with 200 less pieces at 99.99 it just doesn't make sense and even if we put in the 1000 piece uh, dagger bar training which is cheaper than the 802 piece trash compactor i don't believe that the two extra figures can make up for that kind of price let me know what you think in the comments so aside from the price, these sets are very displayable. They look great when they're all together, and to be fair, I think they would look fantastic on a shelf in the office. The first set that we're going to take a look at is the training on Dagobah, and I really love the details in this set. Um, not only does it come with the three figures there, or the two figures in the astromech, the, the set itself is very organic. I love the use of all of the curves here to make up the uh, the swamp and the mangrove trees with the leaves all hanging down and mossy and swampy and earthy and of course Yoda's hut which uh, is just fantastic there is this little hint of the x-wing under the water here with just the wingtip poking out you get a few other accessories as well in the set and I love the use of the plant pieces you can have a little bit of a sneak peek in the back here of Yoda's hut it does come with Yoda of course then you have Luke and we also have the R2-D2. So the two tiles here are in fact printed, the 2x4 and a 2x6 there. And when we take a look at the minifigures you can see Luke has a printed torso and legs, Yoda with the printed torso and a brand new R2-D2 here with a print on the front and the back and it's all muddy and dirty because he's been in the swamp Yoda has some hair prints there and uh, Luke has an alternative face and printing on the back let's take a look at the Death Star Trench run here the force is strong with this one says Darth Vader you can see that this is just a snippet of the trench and this is the most beautiful X-Wing in microscale that I have ever seen to date yet it is very cleverly built from the top and the bottom uh, the wings are open in the x formation they do not close into the closed formation it is being chased by the three tie fighters we have darth's tie fighter and then we also have the other two tie fighters as well they are both the same build and darth's has that nice rounded wings just like he does in the film the detail here on the Death Star Trench Run is amazing. It is made up of a lot of very, very small pieces to get that greebling effect. And it is done to perfection. It is a little bit tedious to put together, but it does look fantastic. And the textures are amazing. I really liked how the whole thing looks quite realistic and has enough depth and detail to it to give it the Death Star feel. It really does feel like you are in the trench. There are no minifigures with this set, so uh, you, you can understand the slightly cheaper price point at the uh, 99 99 mark. And in my opinion, I do think that this one is worth its money. And last but not least, we have the controversial set of the three, the Death Star Trash Compactor. I do feel like this one is overpriced at $159.99. It has 200 less pieces but 
two minifigures more than the training on Dagobah, but I don't feel like that that price disparity matches what you're getting dollar for dollar. I do love the scene. The scene is fantastic. It's very iconic. Everybody remembers this scene from the film. Uh, the minifigures are great, and the, the, the little setup on its own is actually quite cool. I do love the fact that you can manipulate this one to open and close, and when you pose the minifigures, they all stay in place, and you just move it backwards and forwards. When you spin this one around, there is a very, very little bit of detail on the back. You've got the two droids standing outside the door, and that uh, is a reverse tile that is printed. The minifigures you get here are R2-D2, C-3PO, uh, Princess Leia, Luke, and, of course, Han Solo. And let's not forget the mighty Chewbacca. As you can see there, uh, Luke and Han Solo do come with a couple of blasters. Uh, when you turn the minifigures around, um, uh, Luke and Han Solo Leia all have uh, alternative prints on the back of their faces. And uh, C-3PO also has prints on the back. And of course, we have this new R2-D2 printed on the back as well. C-3PO also has printing on both arms, which is amazing. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on the three Star Wars vignette sets. Again, got to give a big shout out. Thanks very much to Lego for sending them out. It's really appreciated. Gives me the opportunity to build and share it with you guys. Please let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Are these going to be sets that you're going to pick up? Or do you agree with my comments about them being slightly overpriced? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please be safe. Keep building. And I'll catch you on the next one.